Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to your summer solstice and full moon in Capricorn reading for June 2022. Hello, welcome back. If you are one of my wonderful loyal subscribers and if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you find the content inspiring, um, helpful. That's always my intention. And speaking of intentions, we are going to set some good ones this month. Um, for those of you that are in the Southern Hemisphere, I know that it's turning to winter. So um, I'm going to be focusing on the summer solstice. So feel free to take this how it resonates for you or um, apply it to six months from now when it the summer solstice hits your area. Um, I'm not here to tell you how to live your life, just how to navigate the energy. How's that? <laughs> so um, I'm going to do a couple ritual things. I've got my tinctures here and little symbols. Um, so for those of you with headphones, um, I will warn you before I get ready to ring those so you can turn it down. Um, it's just going to be an energy clearing um, collective sort of thing um, for you should you choose to participate. And if not, that's okay too. Do your own thing. So let's talk about setting intentions under this beautiful summer solstice. And I know that we've got a lot going on. So the full moon in Capricorn at one degree, I got a fun fact here in a second about that, and the summer solstice and cancer season starts. So we've got a lot going on <laughs> in the same like 24 hour period. So with, um, Full moons, we usually focus on releasing. And yes, that is true. And honestly, any time is a good time to release anything that no longer serves you. You don't have to wait for the full moon. Um, but working with the energy um, of release is very helpful. So full moons are culmination. So with the new moon um, in Capricorn back in January, if you journal or if you remember, um, take a look at what you were wanting to manifest and how has that gone for you over these last several months? And if you are on your way, um, awesome. Keep going. If you need to adjust the sales, you're not quite where you wanted to be, or uh, maybe it's not the way that you were hoping things would go. That's okay too. So adjust the sales. Don't be afraid to do that. If things have gone completely off the rails, then maybe it's time to take an evaluation and see if maybe those manifestations weren't the best thing for you. Remember, redirection is divine protection. So just take a look with an open mind and an open heart. Leave ego at the door. Let it play outside. <laughs> Let it not interfere too much. Ego is wonderful in keeping us safe. It has its purpose. Please don't get me wrong. It's an unhealed ego that says it has to look like this. It has to go like this, or it's not going to work. Change your mindset. We talk about that a lot here on the channel too. Um, if you need any help with that, with changing your mindset, um, I am a certified infinite possibilities trainer, shout out Mike Dooley. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in doing and learning more about, all of my contact information is below. Feel free to reach out. Um, we can talk and see, we'll design some sort of session package that fits for you. Yes, I do in person if you're local to my area, uh, Northeast Ohio. If not, Zoom is a wonderful thing. It allows us to connect. So we can certainly do that. We'll build a package, don't worry. Lots of options, lots of opportunities. I want these things to be accessible for everybody, whether it's mediumship, distant Reiki, card readings, soul training, grief training, um, not training, <laughs> grief. Um, I don't want to use the word counseling because that gives a certain connotation to it, but grief sessions. So um, if you need any help with that, let me know. Otherwise, with this full moon, it's um, in Capricorn and it's at one degree. So here's the fun fact. We have the next full moon in July also in Capricorn at the 29th degree. So 
we've got a whole month of figuring out if sales need to be adjusted and what's going on and a good period of reflection. So Capricorn um, is the workhorse of the Zodiac. Capricorns, I love you. You know that. My south node is in Capricorn. So find your chart. You, there's all kinds of free charts out there that you can um, take a look and see where things are for you. We all have everything in our chart. It's just a matter of where. Like my south node is the only thing that I have in Capricorn. I have no planets there. That's okay. Capricorn's still in, in my chart. It's in a certain house. And there's lots of pieces to that astrological puzzle. I am not an astrologer. Please find someone who um, is way more versed at that than I am. Um, for those of you local, you know, I love Angie, the astrologer. Um, Yasmin Boland is um, the author of the beautiful Moonology decks, um, the Mercury Retrograde book. I wish she would make a deck. Yasmin, if you're watching this, please. <laughs> make a mercury retrograde deck that'd be great thanks um so she's a very published hay house author um i follow her for all things moon related um or seek out whoever uh resonates for you so with the capricorn full moon take a look see where it is in your chart if nothing else if all of that is like wah, 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 peanuts wah, 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 <laughs> to you then that's okay too if nothing else, just know that this full moon is a great time to reflect where are you in your career path? Because Capricorn is finances, career, um, good stuff. It's an earth sign and it is um, w a wonderful time to reevaluate. What am I doing right? Yay. Yay, I've done things right in the past. Woohoo. Um, where could I be a little bit better? Am I needing to tighten things up a little bit right now? Am I able to give freely? Um, am I in a position at work where I want to be? Am I in a soul sucking job? Whatever it is for you, take time to evaluate and adjust the sales if needed. We'll dive into it more here in the personal reading. But for now, I wanted to start with um, explaining to you all the things that are going on right now. So we also have, flip side, we have a beautiful summer solstice here. And this is the return of light and hope. Um, longest day of the year, shortest night. So lots of light, lots of opportunity. Um, and the moon being full shines her beautiful light into the world. So lots of light coming in to shine. So I have the priestess of light Oracle that we'll be using as well as the light seers tarot, the moon deck for some affirmations, and we'll see what else we get into. But, um, and I might switch decks here and there. So as we navigate this beautiful energy with the summer solstice, being grateful for all the good stuff and letting the light shine in on any dark corners that need to be cleaned, cleaned out. Maybe decluttering is a thing for you right now. Great. Very earth sign thing to do. <laughs> letting go of that which no longer serves you. So um, when our hands are open to give, they're also open to receive. So as we release items that no longer uh, work for us, for our space and alignment or energetically, we let go of things or situations or, um, people who have, you know, people are here for a reason and a season. Not everyone is meant to go with us throughout our whole life. Most people do kind of come and go. So if it's time to let them go, let them go. Remember, you can't speak butterfly language to caterpillars and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with setting boundaries. I'm a huge fan, highly recommend setting boundaries. But if you are um, keeping someone in your life just because, oh, well, we've been friends for 25 years. Well, maybe you're just very different people and it's okay to uh, be friends from afar. You can love people from afar. And it doesn't mean that you have to cut them out of your life and never speak to them again. But putting some distance between you is okay too. Or keeping to yourself the things that you plan to do next. There are going to be people who don't understand why you're switching jobs. 
What are you doing? You have such a great job. Okay, that's what you see. Let me tell you what I live. Everybody's always going to have an opinion. So not everybody is your cheerleader. And it's okay not to tell everybody everything. The greatest piece of advice I ever received was about 10 years ago. Not everyone needs to know everything that's going on in your life. And that is because not everybody is your cheerleader. Everybody has an opinion and you might start doubting yourself. If your soul is saying, knock, knock, hello, <laughs> let's get moving on something different. And somebody else says, but you make such great money or you work so hard to get to that position or you have a great retirement. I have no work ba life balance. I have no flexibility. I've hit the ceiling. I'm as high up as I can go. Um, this is no longer in alignment. I opened my eyes. I let this light shine in. And now I see that this company doesn't uh, align with my goals and morals and values. I found out that they're not green. They're not eco-friendly. Um, they treat people like crap. It's no amount of money is worth that. Whatever it is. But you might start doubting yourself. So be very judicious about with who you share information. Moral of the story. So let's get into, okay, here's your warning. Ding, 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 ding. Danger, danger. There is <laughs> going to be a loud, louder than that, a loud sound. So if you're wearing earphones or if you're somewhere that you might need to turn the volume down a little bit, here you go. I've got the microphone behind, but these things pick, they pack a punch. So um, I'm going to ring them three times. I'm going to try to be as gentle as possible, but I do want this to be clearing. So set your intention now, whatever it is, feel free to pause the video and know that you are in a very safe space, grounded, beautiful energy, safe bubble. If you are in a place where you can safely do so, close your eyes, take a couple deep breaths, and then listen to this energy clearing sound. It's very high pitched. My cat usually doesn't like it. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. Loud sounds over. So as you enter into this beautiful time, this energy of the summer solstice, this full moon in Capricorn and Cancerian season, which Cancer is, remember the full moons are always in the opposite sign of the sun sign we're in. That's why it's in Capricorn this time around. Cancer is very loving and nurturing and it rules the home and it's a water sign and it's very um, go with the flow. As much as it's a cardinal sign, it is something, there's something to be said about cancer being um, very nurturing and loving. So there you go. All right. Let's get into the individual reading. Oh, little extra ding for you. <laughs> Hi, Sagittarius. Let's get into it. So I'm using the moon deck to start. All right. Please remember this is a general reading. Um, if it doesn't fit, that's okay. Don't try to shoehorn yourself into something. Um, but do feel free to reverse roles. Um, if I say you and it's somebody else or vice versa. If I say if it, it's work and it fits for you in relationships, whatever it is, that's okay. But otherwise... It's okay if it doesn't fit. If you were drawn here by the title, it played next in your list. <laughs> if someone shared it to you, we all have Sagittarius somewhere in the chart. So please um, familiarize yourself with your chart and know that these energies can still apply um, in whatever area you have Sag in your chart. Just take whatever resonates, <laughs> leave the rest we like to say in our spiritual world. All right, Sag. Woo. Okay. I welcome clear vision and inspired action. Look 
Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful. The eagle represents spirit. So spirit is guiding you. And eagles have the ability to soar to incredible heights in the sky and still be able to spot whatever they need to see. So clear vision and inspired action, that is key as well. And as a fire sign, you're all about inspired action. My emotions move through cycles and connect me to my truth. Look at the moon phases on the card. Oh, that's beautiful. And she's got this gorgeous, I forget the hand position. If you know it, please tell me in the comments, but it, it's a yoga thing. And, um, it represents being completely connected again over the third eye. So lots of vision and not necessarily with your, um, your eyes, but with your intuition. So emotions, and I know emotions can be yucky, <laughs> but they're beautiful. So bear with me. This is very cancer season coming through here. Emotions move through cycles, connect me to my truth. So honor whatever emotions are coming up for you right now, honoring the, um, the beautiful ebb and flow, very cancers of water signs. So that ebb and flow energy and knowing that no matter what you're feeling, it's okay. It's okay. If you feel a little bit angry, let it out, <sighs> let it out, do some movement, um, journaling, art, scream into a pillow. Don't hurt anybody, <laughs> including yourself, <laughs> but otherwise it's okay. If you feel grief and you need to cry, that's all right. Go do it. Sit in your car and cry um, in the bathtub, whatever it is, take that opportunity. If you're happy, if you're happy and you know it, be a Sag. So you are ruled by, by Jupiter and you're some of the happiest people I know, but that doesn't mean that you're not prone to moments of grief. Jupiter is the planet of luck and abundance. And sometimes you might feel like you're not so much. That's okay. Honor it. Let it move through you and through you and let it go. Let it flow and let it go. I'm making a t-shirt. So, um, know that whatever it, it's kind of like the, this too shall pass, which I try really hard not to say cliches like that because they tend to be overused and as a, a dismissive thing, like, ah, you'll get over it. Okay. Logically that might make sense, but right now my heart is hurting for whatever reason, my heart is hurting and I can't see that. It's okay. That's okay. Emotions are in the heart, not in the brain. So don't try to logic emotions. Doesn't work. Doesn't work that way. So my emotions move through cycles and it does help connect you to your truth. It's about bringing things up, bringing light to the shadow. It's the energy we're in right now. So absolutely beautiful. My Sagittarius friends, what's on the bottom? Ah, uh, proper rest helps me feel and look my best. Yeah. So rest as much as you possibly can. I know sometimes that's easier said than done. I don't know. <laughs> Let's pull from Yasmin Boland's monology deck. They're all listed in the description box below, as well as my contact info if you would like your own personal reading. Happy to help. Whoa, what flipped? <laughs> Jumping. Sag, bringing the energy. Oh, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Who else? Got? I think Aries. Yeah, Aries got this as well. The answers you need are coming. The full moon in Gemini. Gemini is your opposite sign. So the full moon always occurs in the opposite sign of the sun season we're in. Hence, we are in cancer season in the sun and the moon, the full moon right now is in Cap, Capricorn. So, um, the full moon in Gemini occurs in your birthday season. So pay attention there. Sometimes things only make sense in hindsight. Like the, there we go. More sight, more sight energy here. So the answers you need are coming. Um, but somewhere in the next five, six months, there's going to be some sort of revelation. You're going to see things like, Oh, that's why that happened. Or now I can, now I've processed my emotions and I can see clearly. 
I can see clearly now the tears are gone, whatever it is. And on the bottom is balanced spirituality and practicality, the full moon in Pisces, which happens in Virgo season, which will be probably sometime early September for that full moon. Google, I don't have it in front of me. So balancing spirituality and practicality, Pisces, and I can speak to this because I'm a P Pisces sun sign. We're very spiritual. We're um, the end of the zodiac, the culmination of all of the energy that comes before us and the 11 other signs. So we're very spiritual. We're go with the flow. Um, and we can see that bigger picture. We swim to depths that most people are afraid of with emotion. Um, so being very spiritual, you also need the practicality, the Capricorn full moon. So balancing, like there's a spiritual reason for everything, but also right now my heart hurts. This sucks. <laughs> so what are some practical steps that I need to do to get back in tune with and in alignment with my spirituality so that I can see very clearly. Ooh, Sag, this is so good. Okay. Let's get into some tarot. And those go there. <laughs> okay. Using the Light Sears Tarot, just again, following the theme. Bringing in the light, the other season of light, as I say, because um, during your birthday season, we have many holidays that celebrate light. Um, so five, six months from now, this is the other season of light, the summer solstice, bringing in that beautiful energy with the sun and the full moon reflecting the sun's beautiful light. Whoa, dropping half the deck here. Few more cycles through and we'll get into my five card spread. And I felt like not right. Sorry, Sag, gotta go another round here. Get to hang with me while I shuffle. I like to shuffle on camera for those of you who might be new. Um, that way no one can accuse me of stacking the deck. Not that I ever would. But if you don't know me, you might not know that. Ooh, three of wands. All right, let's get it out here. Permit in reverse, the knight of wands, the nine of wands, and the world in reverse, and on the bottom, two of cups. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> let's break it down. The three of wands, this is about waiting for the right time, the perfect opportunity. Um, she is not going to surf on those tiny little ripples, basically Lake Placid here. She has to wait for that perfect wave. She knows it's coming. She's just waiting. She's like, all right, when the time is right, I'm going to paddle myself out there and ride that wave. Hell yeah. Beautiful. So this is again, that see that far sight. Cause she's seeing all the way across the horizon. There aren't any giant waves there right now. So she can see a lot of things. So there we go. Okay. So the waves, emotions, um, when our emotions are clear, we're able to see more clearly. So feeling through those emotions is super important because you have to be able to, um, process those. So the waters can be calm again and you can do your thing. Ooh, I love it. The hermit in reverse Virgo energy. The hermit is um, about going within and shining your light, like learning a lesson. So by processing those emotions thoroughly and properly, you can, which uh, there's no right or wrong. It's just going in, acknowledging them and doing it. That's proper. The hermit is able to find that clarity and then come out and shine the light for others to see and to follow their lead. And Sages, you guys are leaders. You are naturally born leaders and it's beautiful energy. All the Sages I know in my life are amazing leaders because they're very um, balanced and fair and they understand lots of things. So some of the best leaders I know are Sagittarius. 
So with the hermit being in reverse, you're still going within, like you're not quite ready to come out and show the world. You're still in the process of learning. Love it. Internal introspection going within, in, in, in. The Knight of Wands, I love her. And right here in the middle, this is you. And you're just marching to the beat of your own drum. She's laughing, having a good time not giving a care in the world, <laughs> even the horse is dancing like, yeah, girl. So um, just this beautiful energy of taking inspired action because nights are all about action and doing it your way. Frank Sinatra, my way. Beautiful. Yeah, Sag. And the Knight of Wands here. Um, so the way that I'm reading this with the other cards is that you are resilient. Like, yeah, I've been through it. I've been through it. I get knocked down eight. I stand up nine. Here we go. <sighs> Deep breaths. Let's do this. And that is what you are showing other people how to do. Like they're looking at each other, the nine of wands and the nine of wands. They're looking at each other. Like we can do this. Let's go. Let's go. And the nine of wands is like, all right, <laughs> get back up. That can be the wounded warrior card. It could be Chiron energy. Um, but having that ability like okay we're we're almost to the finish line kids we can do this let's go nine to the ten. Ten is completion so nine is like we're almost there and with the world in reverse um the cycle hasn't quite completed and it in order for it to complete you need to do all the things that we've already talked about two of cups that is um yes the card of soulmates but we have multiple soulmates different types. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be familial. It can be friends. It can be um, mentors. So this beautiful energy of allowing others in to help you. So ain't no shame in the game of getting counseling or talking to a trusted advisor. Hi. Um, getting some love up in this situation so that you can heal because love heals all wounds, not time love. It's what we do in the time that we have in order to heal. And that's why I love quote me, go ahead. Love heals all wounds. It's love. The answer is always love. Afraid, bring love in. Angry, bring love in. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles. Love this. The man with the plan. So this energy is all about like forging your own path. Notice how there's no path in that card. He's just walking across the field. Yeah, he's barefoot. He doesn't even have shoes on. So he is grounding himself. So grounding energy, uh, maybe earthing, going out and putting your feet on the bare earth, um, forest baths, whatever it is for you. If you're um, sensory sensitive, like I am, <laughs> and as much as I want to love the grass under my feet, I know that there's a ton of bugs in there and I just can't. So I don't end up getting as grounded as I could. So I put on my shoes and I do a forest bath or I soak my feet in Epsom salt. That's something you could do. And it feels really good. And it's really good for your feet because the feet can detox. Like lots of stuff can come out, get a pedicure, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Go do that. Do something with your feet and grounding, whatever makes your soul happy and go do that. Um, so our man with a plan here, doesn't necessarily have to stick to one particular plan. It's important to be able to adjust your sales. And I said this, I think it was Aries that I said, um, what if you couldn't make a wrong choice? What would you do? If you knew that no matter what path you took, you were going to get the same lessons. It's just going to look different. The people are going to carry the same energy. They're just going to be in different packages. The lesson, the workplace might look different, but it's the same lesson. Okay. So earth is a school. That's what we're here. We're here to learn. So if you knew you couldn't make a wrong decision, what would you do? What would you choose? Ha ha ha. Love it. Let's get some, actually, I'm going to pull from the salt and sea energy. I was using this for the water signs readings. Um, but I love this deck so much already. <laughs> what do we have? Ooh, treasure chest. Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. 
Treasure chest. Didn't I say y'all are lucky? Mm-hmm. Okay. Treasure chest, success, reaping the rewards. So once you decide, and that's the thing, you get to choose, you get to decide. You are the author of your story. If you don't like the way the narrative is going, change it. Rewrite your story. Say plot twist. Here we go. So with treasure chest, luck and abundance, it's all yours. This success, you are successful no matter what you do. Oh my God, how powerful is that? Oh, I love it. So you get to reap the rewards of doing this work because it's only going to set you up for success in the future. And you're going to shine your light and you're going to show everybody else. If I can do it, so can you. Here's how. Here's the roadmap right here. Here's the roadmap. That's all you got to do. How easy is that? You guys are the kings and queens of making shit look easy, quite honestly. <laughs> you just are. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Conch shell on the bottom. Messages from beyond. Communication. Gorgeous. So knowing that the universe always has your back, always wants what's best for you. Connect. Drop into your heart space and connect to your higher self because it knows the way and it will always lead you in the right direction. Oh, Sagittarius, this is so good. So good. I, I'm not even going to mess with it. We're just going to leave it there. Gorgeous message. Um, I've been telling everybody else this, so I'll say it to you as well. If you um, want to share in the comments a story, some kind of inspiration, you never know who might need this. As long as it is of love and light, you're good. If it's not, it gets deleted and you get banned. So don't do that. Be of love and light. Be, be a good human and share. Share this experience. If you already have this roadmap, please share it with the rest of us. We'd love to know. <laughs> How do you do it, Sag? That's what people are, they're always like, how'd you do it? Gosh, Sag is so lucky. How do they do it? They're always so resilient and happy-go-lucky. How do they do it? Like, hey, I have periods of darkness too, but here's how I get through it. Not get over, get through. Mm, love it. Sag, thank you so much for joining me. If you, again, want your own personal dip into the pool on all of this, Info's down below. Let me know. And um, otherwise, I will see you next time. Take care.